Hey guys, welcome back. More Broken Sword here. And we're still in Hotel Ubu. So what we need to do is grab the key. Um, but he's not letting us. So let's try. Oh, come on, move faster, George. Right, there we go. Let's try talking to her. I'm sure she could provide a nice distraction for us. Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? Well, I'm after a key. Would you distract the clerk while I borrow a key? Are you asking me to <laughs> aid you in a criminal act, darling? Oh no, it's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to squat? No, ma'am. Scout bonner? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? It's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape now tell me why do you want to get into that room i'm the clown it's next to the room the killer is using ah so you plan to eavesdrop on merlin i was hoping there might be a connecting door well how can i refuse i shouldn't think my feminine charms would be much use in this case but a good dose of english arrogance might do the trick ah. Well done, lady, whatever your name was. Come on, move over. Follow, follow. Need me that key. Come on. I say, you there, flunky. Oui, madame. Listen carefully. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madame. Of course. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, bien sûr, madame. Of course. Go, leave. Let me grab the key. Oh, look at that walk. Over to you, my dear. Let's get the key. Lovely. Thank you, lady. Right, let's go. Right, uh, key. Um, key. And door. There we go. Well, maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. We're getting somewhere. Right, we're in. Uh, there's clearly no connecting door. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. Nice. Anything else we can grab in here? Let's have a little scoot around. Never know, there might be something useful that we can plunder from an empty room. The cabinet was empty, but it smelt of onions. No kidding, it really did. <laughs> onions, nice. Right, the only other thing we can do is window. Uh, don't jump out. Oh. Damn, that's high. But oh, look, we can get in. Nice. Yeah, don't fall, George. Please don't fall. We're in. Excellent. Right, let's have a search. Rummage, rummage. The bed was freshly made, and the crisp white sheets told me nothing about the killer's habits. Lovely. Hmm. Briefcase. It was the battered leather briefcase I'd seen Plantar carrying just before he died. I searched the interior of the briefcase, but as I'd half expected, it was empty. Curses. Right. Anything else? So that's the bed. We've done the bed. That, that. Actually, let's go back around there. Should have done that before I walked around, to be fair. The assassin had been too smart to leave incriminating evidence beside his bed. Hmm. Huh. Right, wardrobe it is then. Come on. Need something good in there. Ooh, what's this? Oh no, that's just closing. Huh. Well, there's clearly nothing in here. Right, there's nowhere. Uh, no. Ah, uh, that was useless. It was Khan. 
I had the kind of feeling in my stomach that would usually send me running to the bathroom. E. Hide, hide, George, hide. Get yourself in that closet. Not that you can see him there at all. As Khan opened the wardrobe, I was sure I was dead. Do, do, do. But he grabbed his pants quickly and didn't even see me. Ah, oh, fantastic. He's just getting changed out of his... I didn't usually spy on men getting changed. <laughs> He's getting changed out of his clown's outfit. But this guy was a killer, and I didn't want any surprises. He left his checkered pants on the bed. Fantastic. At least there's something for us to look at now. Go, George, go. Have a look. What we got, what we got. Ooh, I had pocket. that kind of feeling you only get from searching still warm pants. The pocket was empty. Oh. What about the A strip along the side seam of the pants had been unpicked, then Ooh. sewn back up with strong thread and a special stitch. A strip along the sides, oh. then Oof. sewn... What about this pocket? pocket? Okay, can I... Have I got anything? No, I've got nothing to cut with. Um, not that this is going to do any I good. Do that. Where did I... Who had the nail clippers? Oh, no, I was thinking of something else that there. I thought I had nail clippers for some strange reason. Uh, that that? Do that. Uh, this is right. Anything else I can do? Ah, turn them over. Flip the pants over. Okay, what's in the back here? I found an ordinary matchbook. No matches, no clues. Oh. But as I pulled it from the pocket, a strong thread came with it. A okay. thread with a metal tag on the end. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Right, so flip that back over. Oh, no, what's that? I pulled on the metal tag and the thread came out of the pants. It was like pulling out a ripcord. Fantastic. Right, um, what about I that found pocket? nothing in the pocket. Right. Let's turn you back over. I turn the pants over again. <gasps> you go. I searched the pocket gingerly and found a pass card. It read Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Ooh. Gruber. Have a look at that. It was the card I'd found in the hotel bedroom. Okay, Gruber. The matchbook bore a pattern of swirling color and the words Club Alamut. Okay. That's somewhere to go. Right. Let's leave. Uh, what could I do? Let's see if he knows where Club Alibut is. Tell me where Club Alibut is. What now, Monsieur? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No, Monsieur. Oh, huh. well, that's not helpful. Does this pass mean anything that? to you? That is Monsieur Merlin's property. Whoops. That's right. Mer I want to see what he's left in your safe. Impossible. I cannot betray his confidence, no matter what you say he's done. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. I can live with that. A murderer? Are you sure? Positive. Yep. Anyways, right, let's get out of there. Not telling him I've got the key, because that would just... Well, of course, problems. Let's not do that. How about Lady Piermont, I think it is? About that. Do you know where that is? Hi, ma'am. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? I found this matchbook in Merlin's bedroom. It came from the Club Alamut. It might be useful to find out if that club is in Paris, George. Ooh. Yes, yes, I think it will. I found this pass in Merlin's room. So, that deceitful little man is passing himself off as an electrician, is he? Hmm. Uh-huh. This guy probably has a million faces. Yeah, see? Um... Okay. Uh... What about... Uh, uh, get out. No, because there's nothing else I need to tell you. So, if I now ask you about... Uh... Come over here. Can you not tell me where Club Alamut is? What now, monsieur? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No, monsieur. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, come out of there. There's got to be something with these two. Have a look. Like I said, I'm going from vague recollections from years and years Hi, ago here. Hello, George. What can I do for you now? I showed the past to the clerk, hoping ah. he'd give me Merlin's papers, but he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll give him something to be scared of. Follow me, George. Okay, I shall follow you. Oh, God. I think she just pulled her shoulder down on her top. She really is trying it. Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madame. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail. <laughs> Give him the package. But that is against the law. I happen to be a justice of the peace, you silly man. A I silly am man. the law. If he tries anything, shoot him, George. My pleasure, Lady Piermont. One okay. moment, please. Right, we're getting I somewhere. I haven't enjoyed myself this much since Greenham Common. Fantastic. I don't know what I would have done without you, Lady Piermont. Voila, monsieur. Le manuscrit de monsieur Merlin. Well, hey. Thanks. How satisfying. An Anglo-American alliance that actually <coughs> worked. <laughs> the clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. I decided not to unroll it until I was safely back in Nico's apartment. Good call, George. Marvellous. Right, so let's go to Nico's apartment then. I think that sounds like a perfect idea. Let's hope these two don't mug me as a girl. Hotel with the manuscript. It was probably what those thugs were uh, looking for. Okay. So how about let's uh can I just go in there? Or do I need the key? Oh, I can just go in there. Let's uh I'll throw it out the window. Can I throw anything out the window? Maybe not myself. How about I knew this was no way to treat an ancient manuscript, but I couldn't let it fall into the hands of the goons waiting outside. Throw it, George, throw it. Yes, fantastic. Right, now we can leave. Now we can leave and they won't steal anything off of us. Perfect. Right, let's go, go, go. Doom, doom. Sorry, I've got the Lady Piermont song stuck in my head. Hold it right there. Here Don't we go. Again, Search away, I have nothing. Nothing, Guido. Okay, let him go. Fantastic. Right, let's go grab the parchment. Excellent. If the manuscript was what Flap and Guido were after, they were going to be disappointed. I couldn't wait to get back to Nico's apartment and check it out. Nice. Right. Back in Nico's apartment. Hi, how are you? Oh, hi. Come in, George. He's already in. Let's see what the manuscript says. Oh, okay, let's just talk to him first. What are you doing to help trace the killer clown? Research, George. Yeah? You have a copy of the clown's yearbook? I have a telephone and lots of contacts. Mm. Oh. Well, did you find anything useful? Not yet. <laughs> I'm employing my first and most useful weapon. You. What's that? Patience. Oh. oh, I've heard of that. Isn't it a substitute for decisive thinking? Ooh. Do you harsh. have a boyfriend? Not anymore. There was someone. A guy in my final year, but it didn't work out. Neither did my degree. I'm sorry. I'm not. You knew it went well for you, then. Tell me more about your family. When I was a little girl, I used to spend the winter with my grandfather and grandma. They were the best times, warm and safe in their tiny cottage. My grandfather rolled cigarettes while grandma made hot chocolate and cakes. Mm. One day, he stopped his groaning. He put the lid back on his tobacco jar and took me in his arms. I laughed and wriggled, but he hushed me to be silent. With his unshaven chin all scratchy in my ear, 
He told me his secret. What did he say? He said, I don't smoke, but she likes to think I do. <laughs> what a weird old man. Don't call my grandfather weird. He was the nicest guy ever. I wish I was back in that cottage instead of this crummy apartment in this noisy city. Fair point, it's Paris. It is pretty noisy. You're just not anyway. going to believe Manuscript. what I found. It's not another part of the clown's costume, is it? Check it's that out. It's a medieval manuscript. Khan left it in the safe at the Ubu. It's incredible. Is this what he took from Plantard? It mm. could be. Ross. Which means it's worth enough to kill for. And look at this. Two guys on the same horse. Oh, yeah. Maybe they couldn't afford one each. What of it? Have you ever heard of the Knights Templar? Mm -hmm. okay. Their official seal was an image of two knights sharing a horse. Whatever this manuscript means, it's connected with the Templars. How come you know mm. about these knights? I learned about them while writing an article on the Crusades. Okay, here we go. Find out about the Templars. This guy, named Hugh de Payen, arrived one day at the court of King of Jerusalem. He offered to protect the Christian pilgrims from the displaced Muslim armies. The king would be able to guarantee safe transit to Christians in the Holy Land. Safer journeys meant more pilgrims, and pilgrims meant trade and wealth. The Templars proved invaluable to the king as a mercenary army. It was said that they never asked how many the enemy numbered, just where they were. And as the years went by, the Templars grew in wealth and number. They were so rich. Even kings came to them for loans. But at the height of their power, they fell foul of the King of France. He rounded them up and turned them over to the Inquisition. Thousands of Templars were subject to torture and confessed to heresy. Of course, at the hands of the Inquisition, there wasn't much they wouldn't confess to. The last Grand Master Jacques de Molay was burned alive. Jeez. So the treasure is hidden, waiting to be discovered? If there ever was a treasure, it's been lost for 600 years. Challenge accepted. We're supposed to be investigating a serial killer, not a medieval treasure trove. But maybe that's what the clown and his accomplices are after. Maybe this manuscript is the key. You'd better leave it here for safekeeping. Let's find the money. Let's take another look at the manuscript. That's what we got. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. The only mythological bull I know of is the Minotaur, but he was only half bull. I don't think I'd like to be half a bull, even if it was the bottom half. What's that object between them? Mm, it that? looks like a gem on top of a tripod. <coughs> okay, what about this There's one? There's a guy working on a loom. He's weaving a carpet or a tapestry. Or a duvet cover. Mm. It's a clue to a place, I reckon. Somewhere famed for weaving and ships. Where folk live in barrels? It beats <laughs> copper boxes. <laughs> There's a woman looking at her reflection in a mirror, but the reflection has three hideous faces. She reminds me of the Wicked Queen in Snow White. She was the one who said mirror, mirror on the wall, wasn't she? She made me cry so much when I was a kid. Mom carried me out of the movie theater. She didn't oh, frighten me in the least. Like I said, I was only a kid. I didn't like the crocodile in Peter Pan either. Such a scaredy cat, George. A knight with a crystal ball. Now, there's something written on the scroll beside the knight. Yes, but it's written in Latin. Per disciplinum meus lux videbis. By my discipline, you see the light, yeah. You will see the light. You speak Latin? Where did you learn a trick like that? A trick? I studied law, okay? I can read Latin. Ma, you're touchy. Tell me that again. What was it? Um, in discipline, we see the light or something Look like that? Look there. Two guys hmm. on the same horse. Let's face it. We need help, George. Someone <coughs> who knows about these things. Who do you hmm. suggest? Indiana Jones? <laughs> I know a guy who specializes in medieval studies. His name is Lobino. <laughs> hmm. Some stuffy old fossil who gets horny over ancient relics, I suppose. Far from it. Andre isn't the stereotypical professor you have in mind. Where can I find this Lobino guy? At the Krun Museum. I'll give you the address. Marvellous. Let's, Let's take another else? look at the manuscript. Oh, no. I don't want to look at it again. That was just silly. Um, 
anything else that I've missed? No, there isn't, is there? Let me out. Ah, uh, no. Look there. Let me out. Oh, I think I've got all the way through it. There's a between. Okay. There's a but the road. A night, a night through my teeth. Right, I'm out. I'm not asking her again. I'm not looking at it again. I have to go. Okay. Don't forget to look for Lobino at the Kron Museum. Yes, yes, that's where we'll be heading next. Excellent. Anything else you've got to say? Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. How's your girlfriend? Yeah, she's not she's my, girlfriend. my girlfriend. Maybe not yet, but I see your palms entwined in the future. I doubt it. Hmm. Do you know anything about that? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? No. But oh. I can tell you one thing. Not There's to ask Nico. no such place as the Club à la Moute in Paris. Oh, that's good to know. How about can that? you tell me anything about this security pass? I can tell it doesn't belong to you. How come? Give me some credit. If you're an electrician, I'll eat my anti-remens. You're <laughs> a remarkably talented lady. Yeah, marvelous. Can I? Would you like to you? shake my hand? No. I wouldn't. I can see the future, remember. Okay, well, I'll leave see you to it. That's right, monsieur, you will. At least we know that there's no Alama in um, Paris. So yeah, right, moving on. Where have we got? We've got Musée Grune, uh, the Café, Mujerie, and Police. Yeah, no, so we'll head to the museum, but we shall do that on the next time. So anyways, um, like away, comment away, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, of course. So in any case, I shall catch you on the next one. Doodles, folks.